Exit 143 off of I-40 is where Loretta Lynn's Dude Ranch is. It's also where L Waverly is, which had the big flood. Both of those things got flooded. We're going to go take a look. Friends, when you come off the highway, you can see it's only about six miles, and we're down here on the left. Now I'm going to turn in, and we're going to start driving down through there if we can get in. Let's look around. So I'm going to scoot up in here, friends, and see what we can see. Last time I came through there, they had it all closed off where I couldn't get in here. And uh, now this road is at least open where I can drive down in here. I was going to fly the drone. So you've got a swimming pool over there. Oh, wow. You can see out there where it just wash through they have all those motocross competitions here and all that kind of stuff so we're going to scoot down in here and see what we could see i was expecting this place to be blocked off where i couldn't drive up in here but i'm glad i can drive up in here But you can see where all the debris is, where everything washed through. Right there. So it actually washed this road out right here on my left. You can see where they, they fixed it back. But boy, it really did some devastation down in here. I'm gonna hop out and look over here. So we're right here at the, the ranch, which is right over in there. And you can see where the road washed out right here. It actually washed through and completely washed it out. They built it back up and made it where it's a, it's not paved at this moment, but you can see that it's back where you can use it. And you can see where it washed through down there. Now over in here, I wanted you to see, this is a livestock gate. Look at how it just twisted it up. The power of rushing water is scary to say the least you can see the livestock gate here and my camera's trying to fog over because i've got it so cold in the truck but you can see things washed here wood washed up there these trees knocked all down there's something out in the distance down there can't make out what it is but it's blue and then there's stuff over here just mess everywhere so we're going to go up to the house there's the the meal and everything. We're going to go up and take a look around there. Stay tuned. So we're going to cross the bridge here. Oh my lord. I think this was just a built up road back then. It wasn't a bridge. But you can see that concrete bridge right there. The ranch is on my left. Loretta's house. All that is right there. So this is Loretta Lynn's ranch. Loretta and Mooney. And there's the front of the house.
It's so humid out here, my lens keeps trying to fog over. But this right here, friends, was in a mess when that water came through here. And somehow the guy that was over the ranch got caught up in the, in the rushing water. And it killed him, sadly. You can see where it got these, this is metal beams. Look at all this. It just ripped it up. There's videos of that water just coming through here. Well, I mean, you could see where it tore up stuff over there. It's a wonder it didn't completely destroy that thing. And this says Hurricane Mills. This mill and dam were built by James T. Anderson, 1896. The wool was carted here, grain processed predominantly, corn, meal, and flour were shipped throughout the south, restored by Loretta and Mooney Lim, with, with whose permission this marker has been installed by the Anderson family, October 1974. That is really cool. That thing's been there for 125 years. Wow. And you can see where it washed out here. And it was slinging stones. Tried to wash out over there. I'm sure they've got some work to do, but that thing was built a long time. Well, you can see where the air conditioner units, where it washed the dirt out. There's an air conditioner unit over there just hanging. Look at that. Loretta had an MCI bus. Well, water looks like it made its way up into here. You can see it didn't make it over there to that shop, I don't think, but 
it get, did get pretty high up, it looks like. And as you can see, it washed out from under that building. It's a wonder it didn't tear that building down. Have a little western town here. And you can see where the water got up here. Well, it was rough, no doubt. And that's a replica of her home in Butcher Holler. Then they have a real life post office right here, 37078. So they are back open, friends. So if you want to come, you can come and check the place out. Yes, you can. She was, the lady was real nice in there. And then she said that they are in fact open. Pretty cool, I must say. All right, let's send the glory up and take a look around. Y'all come back now, you hear? So sadly, friends, as I mentioned, Wayne Spears lost his life here in that flood, and he was over Loretta Lynn's ranch. He was the uh, ranch master, I think is what they call him. Rest in peace, Wayne Spears. I hope you knew Jesus, my friend. So make sure when you're watching the Weekly Spa Guy, you subscribe, you give me a big thumbs up if you like the video, and watch the Weekly Spa Guy, friends. Thank you.